When you're at the grocery store and you're trying to pick the most ripe and juicy pineapple, make sure to use these four tips. The peak season is during the spring and summer between March and July. The first thing to do is smell it. Smell from the bottom. If it smells nice and sweet and not fermented, which means it's overripe and not green, which means it's underripe, it's ready to go. Now take a look. The outside skin should be a little bit shiny and not dull. You'll see some yellow hues and it's okay if there's a little bit of green. Give it a squeeze. The outside should feel firm with some slight give. If it's too hard, then it's definitely not ready. And if it's too soft and mushy, overripe. The last thing to do is to give it a pull. Take one of the fronds from the center and tuck it. If you can remove it easily, that means it's ready. If you've picked a pineapple that's not quite ripe yet, you can leave it at room temperature until it gets that nice yellow hue and smells sweet. Or to ripen it faster, place it in a paper bag. Then add an ethylene producing fruit like a banana or apple. The ethylene gas emitted into the bag is going to ripen the fruit much faster. Make sure to check every day. Cutting a pineapple can be a little bit tricky, but I'll show you simple techniques to slice and dice with ease. Let's get started. Give the fruit a good rinse with cold water to remove any dirt and debris, then dry it off. Starting at the crown, cut about a half inch from where the flesh and the crown meet. Turn the pineapple and cut a half inch from the stem side. Stand the pineapple up on its bottom cut side. Trim off the skin using a sharp chef's knife. Cut down the length of the pineapple. Continue to rotate and cut until all of the fibrous skin is removed. Now you'll notice that there's some brown looking eyes is what it's called on the pineapple. If you don't mind losing more of the flesh, you can continue to trim it down its side or you can use a paring knife to make a small diagonal cut to remove the tough and fibrous eyes. Sometimes they can be a bit chewy. If you have a lot of eyes left, place the pineapple down on its side, then make diagonal cuts into the flesh. Turn and rotate the fruit. There's a natural sort of line that runs along the pineapple. So you're going to get a spiral shape. To cut the pineapple into rings, just place it on its side, then cut a quarter to half inch thick pieces. To remove the tough core, use about a one to one and a half inch round biscuit cutter. Or if you don't have a fancy biscuit cutter, just use a paring knife to cut a circle out of the center. To remove the core from the pineapple for spears or chunks, all you need to do is place it standing on the bottom side then cut straight down lengthwise. Now you have two halves. Turn them cut side down. Cut into quarters lengthwise. Now you see this fibrous core running down about an inch of the pineapple spear. Stand it up on its cut side and cut off the core. Yeah, the core is pretty chewy, so you're gonna wanna throw this out. To make spears, just cut it in half lengthwise to the desired size. To dice the pineapple, I like to make about half inch thick slices, like you're making a spear. Turn the piece over and chop it up. You could also dice up the rings. Just put it flat side down and then cut into little wedges. Just turn and slice. One pineapple yields about four cups of cut fruit. Let's add a tropical twist to your next recipe. Here are delicious ways to use sweet and juicy pineapples. A cool and refreshing pineapple smoothie, a pineapple salsa to add to your favorite tacos. And if you're like me, I love adding them to a Hawaiian pizza. If you're in the mood for grilling, try it on some chicken skewers. Add it to a weeknight stir fry. And I absolutely love it in some fried rice. Now for dessert, it's a classic in pineapple upside down cake. Make some popsicles for the summer in a tropical fruit salad, or my kids absolutely love them in a homemade Dole Whip. Let me know what recipe you wanna try first. Now that you know how to cut a pineapple like a pro, what recipes would you add them to? Leave a comment below. See you in the next video.